In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect speaker wire to your banana connectors. Generally, there are two types, the straight through banana connector and then one that has a side mount. And you'll notice that the tip is different. That's because this is for a binding post and this one's for a speaker that only has a spring connection. But you can find the side mounted on the binding post banana connector. Depending on how handy you are, you may need one or several of these tools. This is just a wire stripper. This is a diagonal cutter that could also be used for stripping. And this is a long nose plier, which can be used for stripping, but I'm going to use it for some pulling, as we'll see when we connect. And then you'll, of course, need some speaker wire. And it can be the really expensive stuff or the really cheap zip cord stuff that works just as good. Now, if your speaker wire is new, that's great. If it's an old wire that you're repurposing and there's copper strands sticking out, just cut those off with your diagonal. Then I'm gonna use this diagonal cutter. You see there, there's two wires in this cable. And in between, there's just a little bit of insulation that divides them. So I'm going to align the blade so it splits this cable in half without actually getting into the insulation. If you get into the insulation, then you've got to cut this and redo it again. Then I'm going to pull it apart. And if it's hard to pull it apart, that's where the long nose plier comes in because you can just grab one end of it and pull. And if we look, we see that this is fully wrapped in insulation, and so is this one. There's no wires exposed. So now we're ready to go in with our wire stripper, and this is 16 gauge, so I line it with 16 gauge, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off about a quarter of an inch of insulation, and I'm not gonna twist the exposed strands. I'm just gonna expose it, then we're going to get our banana clip and it'll spin open, put down the tip, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the wires. So note which one you're using. In this case, this one is a white wire and this one is a copper looking wire. So I'm going to go with the white wire because I'm going to save for the copper since copper is more red for the connector that has a little red marker on it. Some of these are painted on. On this particular model, they can be removed. So again, this is gonna be black. So now you take the wire through and you don't need much wire. What you're gonna do is you're gonna splay out the wire. And the trick here is not to fold back so much wire that it ends up going over the threads because if you do that, then it's gonna be really hard to get on. You just need enough wire going over the sides that get close to the thread, but not on the thread. So all the wire that came through should be going over the side and folding back. Now you grab your connector and you're just gonna screw it on. So because you're not getting on the thread, it should be a fairly easy process to tighten this. And you just take it all the way until you get to the end. And for extra security, I bring in that long nose plier, grab that outside ring, and just turn it so I know that I have a tight mechanical connection. And then give this a tug. Don't be afraid to tug because if it comes out, then it's a bad connection. Okay, so we've done one. This is our straight through and it's called straight through because you make a connection from the back and the electrical connection goes all the way to the front. Oh, and on some of these, this tip can come off. So make sure that it is snug before you plug it into your receiver or speaker. Now on our side mount, you see that there's an opening there and if I turn you can see that it opens up. So all we're gonna do is stick a wire 
right in there. Now you could put a wire through the back and do a straight through and the process would be the same as before. You bring out the wire and then you just fold it back. You see how the uh, thread is a little higher up? So just be careful that you don't pull the strand so far back that they get in the way. So conceivably, you could have a wire coming in here and then put another one through the side, though that's probably not advisable. So in our situation, we're gonna use the side. So in this case, you probably want to twist the strands so that they're together. And all you're gonna do is just put it through the opening and I like holding it down on the other end so it doesn't move. And then you just turn and it acts like an anvil. And once again, I'm gonna take my long nose plier and just give it an extra twist so it's in there tight. And you pull and it should, if it comes out, this one's loose, then I didn't tighten it down enough. And that's why you should test to make sure. Because the other thing is you're compressing the wire, the strands of that wire. So you need to really tighten this down so it doesn't slip out. Try this one more time. Oh, whoops. And that failed. That's two fails. That's not good. Let's try it one more time. Again, I get the wire across. I'm clamping down on the wire. Don't let it go off to the side. You want it to stay down the middle. Okay, so we've made a connection. If you have too much wire, then you wanna clip that out. There's just a little bit that I can feel here, but that's not gonna be an issue because uh, this particular one is gonna go into a speaker that has a spring clip on it. Uh, if it had a banana clip like this on the end, then it would go into the receiver or a speaker that has a binding post. And by the way, like the other one, this could come out, so make sure it is nice and tight so you have solid mechanical connections all the way through. And that's how you wire banana clip connectors. Now you can simply connect to the binding post. If you found this video interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, join the subscription team, and as always, thank you so much for watching.